Uh, welcome back to my time at Sandrock. My name is Usser. Head outside. We've got a lot going on. A lot of storyline cutscenes going on. Bye bye, Pen. See you never. <clears throat> I just did all this, uh, but because Windows had an update, it switched the mic in OBS, so I didn't have any audio recorded. <clears throat> so I had a full episode, and you will get through it. Um, just totally gone. Uh, in the ruins, I hid my most powerful possession. Hid's a bit of an overstatement. I put it in plain sight. It's just at the very bottom of the deepest ruins I could find. Seemed good enough. Uh, yeah, I can't handle that one yet. Um, also, there is... A factory control panel and greenhouse panel can turn one of the rooms in your house into a factory or a greenhouse. I don't know how that works. Um, hello, are you here to meet someone? Uh, is everything okay? Right, right, he's, he's, he's been gone for a really long time. Seems so bold, so packed full of pluck. Oh, who could have seen this coming? He'll be all right. Eh, thanks for trying to help, but please leave me to stand here. Looking out into the distance longingly, yearning for my the day where my Rai Rai steps on the platform once more. I'm sure he'll be okay. And he's back. Wow. Rai Rai, over here. <laughs> Babe. You made it. I was so worried about you. I thought about you every day. Hmm? What happened to you? Are you okay? Hmm. Yeah, I guess it took me longer than I thought huh? it would. Did you run into danger, Duvo's spies? Danger, not so much that specifically. I got to Highwind pretty quickly, as it were. I got word out as soon as possible, but uh, the guys in Highwind didn't really believe me for a while. Something about my look wasn't trustworthy. <sighs> By the time they checked my story with Alliance HQ, well, the battle was already over. Must have been such a tiring journey. You're so brave. Hmm. Well, I don't know about that, but I'm ready to reclaim my role as semi-reliable carpenter and be the father to our child you always believed I could be. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, Rai Rai. Kiss me, my love. Wow. Oh, you're here. Look, he's back. Hey there. Yeah. Heard you saved the town. I was going to do that too, but guess you beat me to it by a lot. Oh, well, next time. Glad you made oh, thank it. Thank you. Come on, like, was there ever any doubt? Let's go home. Hey, see ya. Catch you later. Yeah. Welcome back. You did your part. It's not your fault they didn't believe you. You did everything you could. Phew. I'm lucky you were there, Sheriff. If it weren't for you, I'd have been a goner for sure. Nah, it ain't nothing. I like I'm about to leave you in trouble now, Emma. Gave me a big old duck egg. What am I gonna do with an egg this big? Maurice! Maurice! Yeah, told you to stop calling me that. Oh, come on now. I'm just here to thank you. When you came and helped me get rid of all those nasty wasps, Unsure told me you got stuck real bad. I came to bring you some ointment. Ah, oh, that's nothing, Vivi. How you holding up? Those wasps come back? Haven't come back since. You really become quite the sheriff. I'm sure Bill would be proud. Thanks, Bill. Well, I need to bring some dried fish to Mort. I'll get out of your hair. Take care now, Vivi. Who's Bill? And I'm oh, sure he would be proud. I didn't see you there. Feel like everyone really trusts you lately. <laughs> nah, everyone's just being polite. I gotta say though, people have really been trusting me in the Civil Corps lately. We've been getting bounties and people <laughs> keep giving us all these gifts. I feel like after going through so much, things are a little different now. Here's an idea. How about a yak male milk over at the Blue Moon? My tree. Yeah, let's get out. Jay, looks like you're in a good mood today. Good to see you. Yeah, feeling real good today, partner. Hey, what's the most expensive yak male milk you got? Serve up a couple for me and Builder. All right, coming up. 
two of the most expensive drinks in the house. Remember to leave a good review. Boss, I want to order. Coming. Well, enjoy your drinks. I've got to run. Owen's oh, been real busy lately. Thanks, Owen. After the battle in the north, I feel like there's been a big weight off everyone's shoulders. Well, yes, plus we're no longer under attack and there's no more bandit problem. So people Everyone would want to come here. Us, thanking us for our service. It's the first time I've been given this much praise. It's kind of weird, but nice. I feel braver than ever. Heck, after everything we've been through, what could the world throw at me now? Yeah, you're a real uh, sand rock here. But I gotta say, when others have been saying it, it just sounds like pleasantries. But coming from you, thanks. Really, it's no problem, man. scary when you think about it. I've been sheriff for a while, but there's never been stakes like that before. We'd help Vivi get rid of wasps, a couple of sand bandits, and fighting with Duvos? Phew! It's crazy, right? Like, that really happened. When we intercepted those Duvos messages, I started just acting without hesitating. Before I knew it, we were in the northern ruins. I hate to say it, but I never really felt the confidence to go gong ho full speed ahead. I never wanted to take risks, but this time, I didn't even consider it. This was Sand Rock at stake, and I'll give my life to protect it. So Wait we go, were Justice. In the thick of it. I knew we didn't have any more time, so I told you two to go on ahead and deal with Matilda. I wasn't trying to be the hero, it was just instinct. <laughs> Maybe I'm finally becoming a real sheriff, but I know I couldn't have done it without you. I feel like I've changed. The old me couldn't have held off a wave of Duvo soldiers on my own. You inspired me, so I'm happy to have you by my side, partner. Don't thank me, I'm a sand rocker too. <laughs> that's right. We're all sand rockers. We do anything for this town. To sand rock. Well, I reckon I should get back on patrol. But we've got the chance. Let's see if we can convince Owen to treat us. Hey, by the way, I want you to have this. I reckon any gifts to the Civil Corps are a gift to you too. Sounds great. Thanks, Justice. I won't call you Maurice. Haru, it's so good to see you. I made loads of money from selling your skin cream. And I put aside a share for you. Here, I'm sure you're going to need it. Oh, oh, nice wow, job, there's RVO. so much here. That's, uh, really heavy. What can I say? By the stairs is the most profitable general store in town. Your products are amazing, and my charm makes them fly off the shelf. I'm sure in no time you'll be able to get back on your feet in town. Yep. Thank you, Arvio. If I can put some money aside, maybe I can afford to go to a university somewhere. Yeah. What a fantastic idea! If you study, then you'll be able to make more products. And we'll be able to sell even more products. As my ba used to say. Study makes a big brain more big. If you say so. I don't know if that's exactly what he would say. Hey! You! This is way too expensive. How about knocking off a few goals for me? Wait, what's this? Are you harboring fugitives? Ah, uh, you've misunderstood. No, this isn't a fugitive. Those posters are outdated. Yeah, it's old news. Then why haven't you taken it down already? Checkmate, Mr. Salesman. We just fought a war with Duvos. Uh, I <clears> guess <throat> the Civil Corps was too busy. They have so much to do. This little minor inconvenience. Don't make excuses for me. Arvio, I appreciate the concern, but there's no avoiding it. It's true. I am that bandit. What? What? This is an outrage! An outrage, I tell you! An outrage! Wait until I tell the Civil Corps about this. Oh. Yeah, okay. Go be outraged. Get out of here. afraid. W wait. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have to lose customers just because I'm here. Haru, don't say that. It's just a misunderstanding. I'm sure the Civil Corps will explain. Yeah. Besides, the hearing is coming up soon. I'll back you up. We all know you didn't really do anything wrong. Whatever happens... Logan and I will accept the result. For now, I should leave. Haru, don't go. <sighs> the old me blamed Logan. 
I really thought Haru had been brainwashed by him. But of course, things are always more complex than we think. I was too naive. Yeah. Will you be at the hearing? Of Please, course. Make sure you speak up. We all need to say our piece. Yeah, I'll help out. Don't worry. I mean, I ain't saying no exactly, but... That's good, Sheriff. Then you'll be over at 7 p.m.? Now, hold on there. Not exactly no, ain't exactly yes. That sounds awfully paradoxical, sir. Yeah, not so much of a paradox as it is a vague statement. Uh, forget it. Well, can I bring the builder? Of course, Sheriff. Uh, bring I'm me planning what? a dinner party tomorrow night. Captain can't make it, but I still want justice to come. The theme is soup. Yeah, yeah. I'm not I a big fan you. of soup. And I ain't saying I don't want to come. So you do want to come? Well, I just don't want the builder to miss out, you know. What if they're busy? Are you busy tomorrow night? No, I'm free. Ah, that's great. All right. 7 p.m. at my house. You don't have to bring anything, but you can if you want. Just make sure it's smaller than a house. Sure. Smaller than a house, fine. Yeah, uh, okay. I've been putting this off. He's a good partner, but kind of weirds me out a little. I always wanted to keep our relationship, you know, professional. Yeah, he's a little weird. There ain't nothing wrong with that, mind you. I just... If it was just me and him hanging out, don't know what we'd talk about. And it ain't like I'm trying to avoid it. I just needed some backup. Well, with you there, I reckon it's going to be fun, actually. It'll be good to get to know the fellow who's always got my six a little better. Anyway, thanks for coming with me. I'll see you there, partner. He is weird. Shot There's no space, getting around it. <clears throat> That's right. Straight into space. I couldn't believe it. Heck, I had no idea there were spaceships there at all. Load of bunkers, stairs, factory looking things. Saw a bunch of spaceship parts, man. It was huge. Never seen anything like it. Did you happen to see the name of the ship? Yeah, it was like Olive P or something. I figured it was some sort of space food delivery service or something. The Olympia? Uh, yeah, that could have been it too. I mean, the food stuff was just a theory. Matilda was in that robot. It came real close to me. I just thought back to my training and... Olympia... Found the Olympia? <laughs> I, I need to go. It's finally here. I've waited so long for this moment. Uh, Director, you're... <clears throat> well, staring at a horse's butt. Um, uh, are you okay, Director? Nah, he's probably getting farted on right now. Okay? I'm way more than okay. This is fascinating. Do you know what this means? That I have to take you there? It means that the people yeah. of the old world really did travel to the stars. When the day of calamity happened, there were people out there amongst the stars. They probably survived. And yes, you have to take me there. Oh, hey, just in time. Director Chi wants to know more about the uh, limper thing. Maybe you can enlighten them. I've got uh, things to do, so... I gotta run. See ya. See you, Justice. Oh, yes. I'm still wondering about Matilda's mech. The sheriff said it's got an escape mechanism that's strong enough to send the control pod into space. That's incredible. Yeah. The energy output must have been massive to be able to move such a heavy object to escape velocity. It must have even outproduced the R47 Ultra. I'm so glad. I feel like this conversation is very one-sided. Yeah? It is almost as if you did not come to discuss the wonders in robotics. I found this chip. Oh, a chip? Let me take a look. You found this in a Mecha Tilda. Wait a minute. This looks familiar. Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay. I was right. This is an RX-76 chip. I cross-referenced the serial number with a database of relic technology that I have been compiling. It's an old world military chip. It was used in a very cool sword called the Plasma Saber, which was the weapon of choice of gun gun pilots everywhere. I did a lot of scientific research to figure this out. If only sure. I could get my hands on one of these Plasma Sabers, I would be able to recreate it and we'd have a real working model. Alas, it's but a dream. Still, if you're interested, I do have some idea on where you might be able to find a Relic Saber. 
I know of several areas cool. around Sand Rock that have been under Old World military control. Maybe you can take a look around these places? Sure. You gonna give me a lightsaber? Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna look into that. Okay. Let's see. Oh, yes, we've got <clears throat> more at the Civil Corps. It's because you're ignorant. But I trusted you. Everyone did. This has nothing to do with trust. It's about result. The hand guiding the flock needs to make the tough decisions. I'm sorry it had to be this way. I just want you to know, the light forgives everyone, even you. I did it for the light. I need not be forgiven, for I know I am right. Goodbye, Miguel. Sure. Yeah, he's committed. Builder, I do Hi. hope you're enjoying your victory. These benighted gunslingers are dooming the human race once again. I can't foresee another ending to this little parable. That That's a problem for you. You lack imagination. We saved the town. From what? You have saved this town from an actual future. And even though they betrayed me, do you really think Duvos won't come again? You people are short-sighted. Your efforts will be in vain when the shrouds of darkness caused by the human need for evermore fall upon the world once more. I was blah, not blah, just blah. trying to save your lives. Doom and gloom. But the lives of all children for generations to come. How are you saving us? You work for Duvos. The Duvos Emperor saw things the same way I did. Or at least I believed. I... never wanted to hurt anyone. I wanted to save everyone. Ultimate freedom. Hedonism was what the people during the Age of Corruption practiced. In the name of freedom, they built weapons and technology that we can't even imagine. Duvos was literally building a Death Star. That's why they wanted the Starship engine. They were engine. so busy asking if they could. They never stopped to think if they should. In the end, in the name of freedom, they fought a war that wrought destruction on our world. They did not care for the consequences of their actions. They did not care that they were damning future generations. The people of the free cities are repeating these sins. With utter disregard, they flaunt relics of the past and spit in the face of our collective future. Duvos uses the relics Duvos too. Duvos government strictly controls who can salvage their relics. They took painstaking steps to ensure that any newfound technology is always under government control. It's not ideal, but it's still better than what we have here, at least. I still hope that's the case. At least I still hope they're tyrants. I tried to warn the people of this town that their actions were leading them to another calamity. My sermons fell upon deaf ears. I tried to evacuate all the people through my plot, but that plan failed, so I shall pay for my righteousness. I understand in their view I did harm to San Juan. I shall face whatever this town wishes, for I will not abandon my beliefs. Matilda and Pan abandoned you. I am tired now, Builder. I would like you to leave. Yeah, I hope I sowed a little bit of doubt in that brain of yours. What? Me? Sounds like something's going on in City Hall. Guys, I just... I couldn't possibly... They've opened a major investigation into everyone who graduated in Medi in the last 20 years. There's no one for them to send over and fill the role. It's gotta be you, Birgie Boy. Or should I say, Minister Birgie Boy. Minister Birgie Boy? Oh, nice of you to join us. Please, talk some sense into these people. Tell them how I could never in a million years ever be good enough to be the minister in Sandrock. He's right. Now, I'm, I'm doing a nice playthrough here. On. Believe in Isn't yourself. Is obvious? One, I'm bad at everything. Agreed. Two, 
I can't do it. Agree. Three. C options one and two. Dang, that's a lot of reasons. Hey, wait a sec. Those are just exaggerated, sweeping statements that represent only your own opinion. Yeah. Shoot. She saw right through me. Why don't you do it, Danby? You're one of the most inspiring people I know. I got a kid on the way. No time for a gig like this. Well, in a sense, the Oasis is kind of my baby. Reaching at straws, Virgie boy. I, I know. Besides, <laughs> I'm not so good at all the word talking stuff. If I had to preach, all I'd say is just be good to each other. That's it. Why do I have to say any more than that? Everyone go plant a tree. Still got 89 minutes to fill. Succinct yet insightful. Uh, can I use that? Sure. Tell you what. Bounce ideas off me anytime. I'll help as much as I can. Ask my opinion on water wasting. Spoiler alert, it's just as radical as yours. We are all rooting for you, Burgess. Everyone wants to see you blossoming in your new role. Rooting? Eh? Blossoming, you say? Hmm. I feel a little better knowing you guys believe in me. But... No! I have no confidence in my ministerial abilities. Miss Mayor, is there really no one around who can tell me what to do? Nobody at all? What about Zeke? He used to be the minister, right? Yes. Mm, well, one, Zeke retired. Yeah. Two, he doesn't want to be a minister. And three, what he's doing is far too important to have him fill in here. Especially when we have two perfectly capable ministers standing right in front of me. Facts. Oh no! Each of those is a good enough reason on its own! That's yeah. right! The only one with the dedication, attitude, and goodness required by this position is you! It's gotta be you, bud! <laughs> Pull yourself together, man! Don't <laughs> hyperventilate on me! Gah! Hey guys! A lot of screaming going on. Everything okay? Should I scream too? Yes. Oh, yes, uh, you should. That won't be necessary. We were just trying to help Burgess see that he does have what it takes to become the next official minister of the Church of the Light, Sandrock Chapter. Oh my gosh, do you have to say it like that? Hmm, not feeling up to the task? Maybe you just need a hat. Uh? A what? Uh? Go on. Yeah, I mean, sometimes if you ever feel like you're not where you want to be in life, the right hat can make all the difference. Take the deputy cap, for example. Anyone wearing it is deputy. So, if you had a minister hat, you'd be a minister. No one would question it. Huh? Matilda never wore a hat? That's because Matilda had super villain level confidence. Yeah, Hard literally. Enough. I need a hat. Thank you for your fine suggestion, Mr. Unsure. That's all right. Would you mind making a minister hat for me? I'm sure yeah, that I'll would do fill it. me with the confidence I need to spit hot fire. Yeah. Pew, 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 pew. Uh, this is not exactly the solution I had in mind for this, but it may very well be a solution. Uh, do you mind? Yippee! Sure thing. Now I'm only one hat away from success. Ain't that always the way? All right, everyone. I think this is as good a place as any to end this meeting. Good luck, Burgess. We're all looking forward to your yeah. first sermon as minister. Ooh, I won't need luck once I've got that hat. Mm, <laughs> yeah. Yep. Bye. <laughs> yeah, right? Okay, bye. That is a little weird, but hey, that's Sandrock for you. We're all a little weird. Oh, hi! Got a new artifact to donate or just here for a bit of culture? Are you sure, okay? Sure, sure. I'll be fine. I'm just having a rough week is all. My son's birthday is coming up soon, and I'm missing him something fierce. It's hard not being there for so many milestones and important dates, you know? Did I ever show you what he looks like? This is the picture Ma sent me a few weeks ago. Isn't he handsome? Looks a lot like my He's pa. older than I thought I would Ma be. Ma says he's he started be. his own business, selling his classmates snacks he made at home. 
Gotta head for business, that one. Just like his ma. Or maybe not just like me. Most days, I know I made the right choice coming here to build us a better life. But it's taken so long. On days like today, I feel like the worst mother ever. Every birthday I miss is a year of my boy's life I'll never get back. And this year, every goal I had went into expanding the business. There's nothing left to buy him a gift. Maybe I could build him something. That would be amazing. Are you sure you don't mind? It would have to be on the train soon to get to him on time. It's no problem. Really? Happy to help. Oh, thank you. You're the best. What would I do without you? I've been thinking about what to give him. Ma said in her last letter that Aloe's become obsessed with trains. Last year, it was Yakmel Ranching. Now he wants to be a conductor. Jensen collects models of trains. Okay. Maybe he has I can work with that. he can share with us. Aloe would love a model train. No problem. All right, let's do this. I'll ask Jensen and see if he'll lend me a recipe. I'll let you know as soon as I've got anything. Cool. Okay, that's everything for today. We're gonna go home, sleep. Uh, we've got Logan's trial tomorrow. Citizens of Sandrock, welcome to today's hearing. I know that since Logan's return to Sandrock, things have been unclear as to what their future is here. We're here to work out together how to deal with their unique cases. We think the issue shouldn't be dragged out longer than it needs to be. So from here, I'll hand this over to Sheriff Justice to proceed. Thank you, Mayor. All right, let's get things cleared up first. Logan, were you or were you not abandoned? I was. Second, during your stint away from Sand Rock, we received a number of reports of folks in surrounding areas being robbed by some goat riding ne'er do wellers. How else are we going to eat? That's true. I'm not proud of it. But we had no choice, but that's no excuse. There's also the case of stealing money from a banker, the kidnapping, and the train robbery. Then we're on to two more cases, which, uh, I reckon we can give more pass on. You know, Matilda ended up being evil, and Penn blew up the water tower. So I guess if we're looking at punishment, Sand Rock Cole will recommend anywhere from five days to one season in jail. Alongside 50,000 to 500,000 gold fine. 500,000? That's enough startup capital for a city project. Yeah, those are the limits. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. That's what we're doing here today. Remember, Logan and Haru used to be one of us. They're eager to get back to their lives like the rest of us. We don't want to rush this. We can't take it lightly. We've been through a lot, and this affects everyone. So we wanted to make this decision together. Now, if you got something to say, say it now. I'm just gonna come out and say it. Logan's a hero. He helped drive out Dubos and save Sandrock. Anything less than complete forgiveness would be an injustice. Yeah. Everyone, calm down. She I was right. I appreciate the sentiment, but you can't do this. The law is the law, and I ain't gonna forget my crimes just because I did a few things right. Fine. Then I vote for the light of fine. There's no way you should be shadowed with such ridiculous fines. Yeah. Right. If we ignore how much you've done for us, then what would that say about us? Everyone. All right. Well, it looks like everyone's got an opinion. But remember, we gotta take this serious. Let's have a show of hands. Anyone who thinks Logan should get a lot of sentence, raise your hand. That's me. Yes. Just about everybody's hand went up. Let me see. Jasmine. Andy. Sorry. The kids aren't counting. Besides, you know I can see you holding up both hands, right, Andy? This is an injustice. Kids are people, too. Yeah. It's okay, Jazz. Everyone's voted for him anyway. Looks like most people are on the same page. Any opposition? Well, look like that's the end of today's hearing, then. Wait a minute. Throw the book at me. Logan? You... You want us to punish you? 
That's right. What do you say? Burgess, Cooper, you ain't raised your hands. Speak your piece. Well, we have to think about... Uh... Burgess, is it because Logan punched you and blew up the temple? Oh, no. The light says to turn the other cheek, and I'm still waiting for my second punch. I just can't help but think. Is this right? Wait, Dan B, did you raise your hand? Of course, Logan saved us. If it weren't for him, we'd have been taken over by Duvos. We owe him our lives. Yeah, we do. I understand that Logan has done great good, and I truly appreciate it, but can we really apply the law however we want? All I'm saying is that institutions and order are created for a reason. Well said, Burgess. He's right. I want to atone. Oh, and uh, sorry about that punch. Logan, you're talking nonsense. People write laws. We can apply them however we want. We can, and you have to take extenuating circumstances into no! account. And this may sound like something Miguel might say, but the law is not some fickle thing. We are safe now, but think of those who were affected by Logan. He still did them wrong. I have spoken my piece. I'm sorry if it's offended you, Logan. I think if there's a way for the victims of Logan's actions to forgive him, then I'm all for letting bygones be bygones. I'm sure oh, they already no, do. No, I completely agree. Because okay. if Sandrock's Move done, we aren't making Anyone deliveries to those to outer to towns, little now. villages, and they're gonna die. Yeah, I got something to say. So listen close. I've known that boy since he was a little one. When Strap he was in. Three years Cooper's old, talking. I knew what that boy was like. I'd say Heidi was about the same age at the time. Oh, no. Not Hugo not. and old Howard chatting away while kids played on the floor. Now, I gotta tell you, there was a family back in the day and they had this big old hound. Remember Hugo? Whew. That dog had a heck of a bark, louder than anything. Heidi tried to grab his tail and it jumped her. Tried to bite her hand clean off. But Logan jumped in the way. Stood there barking back at it. Dang, if that dog didn't run off faster than you'd ever seen. I tell you, that boy ain't nothing but good. So, how would you vote? Dang it, I say we let the boy go. He's one of us. Cooper ain't never turned on his own. Way to go, Coop. Yeah, go Pie. Woo! Right on, Cooper. But wouldn't it have been easier to just, you know, raise your hand? Wait, Justice. Is it all right if I say a few words first? I think I speak for everyone here when I say Sandrock has seen its fair share of nefarious behavior. We've had to sit by while our commissioner abused his employees and took advantage of us all. Yeah. At this moment, we still don't know what the future holds. Some of you may still have some doubts in your heart, but I think you need to ask yourself, what would you do if you were in Logan's shoes? Your pa was taken from you and killed. Wouldn't you do the same as him? Burgess has a point. There's always a way to work within the law, but sometimes that path isn't clear. If you were in his place, would you just sit back and hope for the best? I don't know. But I can't say I wouldn't do the same. Well, that's all from me. I reckon you know about all this better than anyone. Got anything you want to say? Yeah, forgiveness. The builder's right. He's literally He's instrumental, instrumental in, in me getting you and guys free. we can't free. have the laws reflect us as people... And us taking down Matilda. All we want is for Logan to come back and be a part of Sandrock again. Sure, you can refuse our help and ask to be locked up for a long time, but you're putting up barriers that you don't deserve. And it doesn't help anyone. It just pushes you further and further away from us. I... Uh, well how said, Owen. We think about it. All right, we'll think about it. Thank you, everyone. As the mayor... I must be impartial, but I promise I will take everyone's opinion into consideration when deliberating. That about wraps up today's hearing. We still have a few folks who couldn't make it, 
so Sheriff Justice is going to find out what they think. We'll get the results together and let everyone know as soon as possible. Sounds great. And then we've got another one over here. Mr. Arvio, what's the meaning of all this? Suddenly, Sandrock is full of expertly crafted enamel-colored ceramics. So, shall I put you down for a dozen? Two? Hmm. First, I must have a bit more information. Where did you get these? My goodness, the patterns. They're exquisite. I could yeah, sell these for a pretty penny over in Walnut Groove. <laughs> Why don't you take a guess? Get it right, and maybe I'll give you a discount. Is that so? You there. Builder, trying to sneak up on me again, eh? Surely you know something on this matter. Give me a hint, why don't you? Nope. Nope, you were so rude to her. Uh, I'm builder, not helping you at all. Don't hold out on your old pal, the mysterious man. Oh, wait. It's coming to me. The diagram must be complete. And it must be Miss Amira responsible for these. Oh, shoot. You got it. Nice try, but I guess it's not so easy to fool the mysterious man. And look who it is! How was your walk, dear sister? Fine. That tone. Miss Amira, there you are. It's me, your old pal, the mysterious man. Did you miss me? No. <laughs> Aha! Well, I must say I was just here admiring your new products and... Fine stuff. Very fine indeed. You really showed me. I was just discussing with your brother here about getting a discount on some of these goods. I'll start taking a few of these artworks down to Walnut Groove every month. And soon, we'll all just be a little bit richer. Sounds good, doesn't it? No deal. What? My sales have been fine lately. Thanks. Aha! Look, uh... Perhaps I was a bit harsh before. Yeah, it was she's got a cool way to ship to stuff on her own. Your popularity so... here has been due to your appearance. Clearly, I was wrong, but don't let your pride get in the way of us all making money. I beg of you. Okay then, just one question: If you really didn't have any confidence in my skills, why bother to sell us the diagram for such a reasonable price? Oh. Was it the mysterious man's plan all along to get my sister worked up enough to have an artistic breakthrough? Or did he just genuinely believe her work was bad before? The mysterious man works in mysterious ways. Uh huh. Full price, no discount. We can start with a dozen for now. Final offer, take it or leave it. The offer is acceptable and most generous. Thank you, Miss Amira. You shan't regret this. Hello, puppy dog. Miss Amira, Mr. Arvio, I'm Hi. a man You're a good by girl. I'm off to Walnut Groove, as promised. I'm glad we were able to come to an agreement. And congratulations on your newly realized skills, Miss Amira. Good luck out there. See you next month! Woohoo! What a sale! You were bad to the bone, Hemi. A hot and pro like that, and you have him eating out of your hand. This calls for a celebration. To the blue moon! Isn't it a little early to be celebrating? Ah, uh, it kind of, of is. Of course. It's like you are 9 a.m. A wonderful benefactor, builder, investor, butter. Is there anything you can't do? Nope. Hmm. I'm yes. also a fighter. I actually, wasn't bluffing back there. Sales have been quite good since you built the new kiln. Here's the two thousand goals you lent us. Thank you for being patient. There's no need. I'm being a nice guy in this one. No, we must pay you back. You have helped us out of friendship, but we too must remain honest. Friends repay one another. Ah, <sighs> if you say so. Once again, I'd like to relay. Okay, okay, thanks again. You have our eternal gratitude. 10,000 blessings. Yada, yada, yada. I think we've expressed our appreciation enough, Ham. Hmm. Yeah. All right. See you later. Hey, you're welcome. And also, look at how nice they are. You guys are actually making money now. Yeah. You're welcome. 
Well, I don't know. Wow, I was wrong. It's 7 a.m. I don't know um, what all is going to happen in the next day, so I don't know if I'll get much grinding done, but that's where we're going to wrap it up. Logan has had his trial. We'll figure out what's going to actually happen to him next time. Uh, here we go. The hat for Burgess is there, so we'll have to make that at some point. And we got the model train design. Cool. So we've got stuff to do. Um, but yeah, like I said, I don't know how much actual grinding I'll be able to do in between episodes because, I, like, I don't know if it'll be tomorrow or the next day, but they're going to have to hand down a sentence on Logan. Anyway, that'll be all. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you can see when I post new things. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Catch you on the next one. Bye!